Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to Super Ninja Time and Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we did the thing at Fort Condor and recruited a... I mean, I said ninja, but let's be honest, she's really just a thief. A super annoying thief. But we recruited her anyway, because that was the thing to do. Uh, is, is this the right way? No, it's over there. I see you. I see you. Did, did that just, um, not there? There. Not there. There. Not there. There. I think we have found the clipping distance. Um, yeah. Man, this is an old game. Still really good, though. Although I will say, I feel many of my arguments for it being... I... Many of the arguments I've made with my friends... By the way, I changed my party. Now we have Yuffie, Barret, and Cloud! And they're all on the back row. You see, I gave Cloud the, um... The thing. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I gave him a long range. This is the time... I mean, not right now, obviously, but it is imminent. It is imminently the time for when the... For when that's a, gonna be a big deal. Okay, okay, so that that's taken care of. Now, Yuffie is the new character, so she is an obvious choice to use now, because she, based on the limit break rule, she's the only one without a, her second limit break. However... She also has a long-range weapon. And Barrett also has a long-range weapon. You, you see? Assault gun. Not atomic scissors, even though it's about twice as strong. Uh, and Cloud is long, has also has a long-range weapon in the form of the long-range materia. If you can't figure out what's going to happen, then you haven't been paying very good attention. What indeed? Okay, so I'm not gonna dick around here. Let's just wait. No, wrong way. Let's just go straight to wait. Yes, let's go straight to the beach. The beach. Hey, Mr. Dolphin. No, what was the saying before? My name is Priscilla. Okay, you know what? The emphasis, the syllable break just there was definitely wrong. It was like prin sil la. It should have been. Wait, prin. Anyway, anyway, uh, I digress. Oh, I guess it's not prin -Silla. There's no n in there. It's pris. Priscilla? Or is it... Is the C silent? Priscilla? I'm gonna go with Priscilla. Uh, no. Right. I lost my trail of thought there. I feel many of my arguments I've made with my friends about how this game still holds up strong in the test of time. Like, the more I'm playing through it in this for this LP, the more I'm realizing that's not really true. I mean, in many ways it is. The gameplay is still solid. And the... <laughs> yuffie. She's y a lot younger than the rest of us. Um, the gameplay is still solid, and the story is still solid, although, again, although the translation is still pretty bad. Um, it is poorly translated. Uh, but technically, there are a lot of holes here that I didn't really see before. Although part of that, a big part of that is, frankly, it was not never intended to be displayed at this resolution. Um, so, this fish guy flies. You cannot hit him with any close range attack. It is therefore ad advantageous. By the way, check out Throw. Yuffie came with this. We aren't going to use it, but I left it on there anyway. Um, 
Right. Ground sw gr bottom swell here is weak against wind. So we're gonna use wind. I also gave Cloud a wind element attack. Uh, because it seemed like the thing to do. So adorable. Can I, uh, thank you. But, here's the thing about Ground Swell. Other than flying, it also has two other things that are kind of nasty. It does this. Uh, this is like Treno's pyramid, or Treno, Reno's pyramid thing, in that it basically makes the character dead. But it also drains life. It is a strictly worse for me version of Tre of Reno's pyramid thing. Oh, I I forgot about that. I actually need to use magic to pop the bubble, not not attack. Uh, no, no, that didn't do it either. What the hell, man? Okay, well he's dead. You killed him. I hope you're happy. I'm not really sure what happened there because at least one of those things should have popped him. Um, but yeah, I think you get the, the idea. It's like the pyramid, but way worse. Um, other than that, it also, I'm pretty sure, has a tidal wave attack, which also kind of sucks. But fortunately, um, no, no, I haven't killed it, actually. Okay, does this work? Please tell me this actually is gonna work this time. Uh, bubble is still a bubble. Maybe if I use fire? I mean, nope, still in a bubble. Okay, I don't think shooting cloud is really helping at this point. I, I really don't remember how to pop the damn bubble. Wait, maybe... Oh, I need to attack the bubble, not cloud. I'm a, I'm a freaking idiot. Um... And he died. Well, I know what I was doing wrong now. So you know that's something. And I'm pretty sure you do actually need to pop it with magic. So, you know, now that I know... Oh, you fucker. Um... No, not like for... Ah! It is really hard to target. There. Got it. Finally. There we go. There we go. You know, I gotta be honest. That is a little... I mean, it clearly is doing extra damage, but it just feels underwhelming to me. I guess this should be because I'm still in big numbers mode. I can't blame that on Golden Sun this time. Nope. This time, I gotta blame that on, on Neptunia. I've been playing a lot of that. It's actually a really fun game. Totally inappropriate for LPing, though. Way too grindy, and not really gameplay oriented I'd say. I mean I think the gameplay is good, but well well maybe I won't talk about that a uh, different game instead of Final Maybe we'll talk about Final Fantasy 7 instead of you know a completely different game that I'm never gonna LP. Might be a good idea. Or I could not talk about Final Fantasy 7, but I should still probably not talk about Neptunia. Also, Power Wrist! Woo! Untimely interruptions. That'll be fun to edit. I speak? But it's hardly anything new. Oh well. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna say this right now. Cloud does not know how the fuck to do CPR. He is... He is fucking incompetent at this, and this girl should die. Because... Cloud does not resuscitate him properly. Uh... Okay, that button. 
I mean, as far as I know, it is literally impossible to screw this up. But no. Okay, so here's a crash course on CPR for you. I'm not a licensed instructor or anything, so I highly suggest you take a bit. Every everyone who can afford it should take a basic CPR course, or rather, a basic uh, first aid course, which typically includes CPR. Although I guess not always. Anyway, there's two things for CPR. You alternate between quick, um, quick, powerful uh, chest thumps. By which I mean you should be doing like 30 in, I want to say, two minutes? In a two minute period? Probably, no, it should be faster than that. You should be doing like at least one a second. So you should be doing 30 heart, heart pumps at least one a second. And then two breaths and then you alternate like that. And it is fucking tiring. So... You, to keep that up for more than a couple of minutes, you really need stamina. What you don't do is, is do no, none of the heart beating. And what you don't do is spend five minutes taking deep breaths. Fortunately, by some miracle, she survived because I gotta tell you, Cloud sure as hell didn't do it. And all these other assholes are just standing around, not even doing that. I mean, credit where it's due. Cra Cloud clearly doesn't know how to do CPR, but at least he tried. That's more than you can say about the, those other assholes. <laughs> okay, so. Uh. Let me think. Um. I think right now, wait a second, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I had to check the timing of something. Uh, it, it was a Fort Condor thing, uh, because the timing is actually really tricky. You. Okay, okay, I'll go rest now, I suppose. Yep, I attempt. I fought off a giant fish, mo flying fish monster, and also attempted to save her life. I was un. I was unsuccessful, but she survived anyway. Um. Or rather, I suppose technically I was successful, but only insofar as she would have survived anyway, because I certainly made no contribution to her actual chances of survival. Um. Yeah. Speaking of the CPR thing, if you ever do take, like, a CPR course, you will never be able to watch TV the same way. Because a lot of things like to use that, and they all get it wrong. They all get it wrong. I have never seen an accurate example of doing CPR properly on TV in, or movies. Ever! <laughs> And it just really starts, when you actually know how to do it, it really sticks out to you. Was <laughs> this about five years ago? Uh, what? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. I mean, they are childhood friends. I would... Initially, you would assume that it would be conservation of, deta of detail, though. Like, they didn't show it because it was unimportant for, to the flashback? I mean, actually, having said that, this is sort of a trick. Tricky, um... A tricky trickster thing. Because it's a point that makes sense in hindsight. But only, like, it would make sense in real life if that were like that. But within, within a game, it only makes sense when you point it out. It makes sense before... It makes sense assuming that you just did that anyway. 
Because conservation of detail. You don't show things that are unnecessary to the narrative. Because it clutters things up. Uh... Hmm. So yeah, listen to that music. Also, this is going to be problematic. So here's the thing. Right now, I might have missed my... But, but before I get that... But before I go up these stairs, there is a battle at Fort Condor. However, I only have Cloud. If I do this... I still only have Cloud, and I don't have my phone! I'm not walking back to Fort Condor with only Cloud. So I guess I'm gonna miss this one. For- <sighs> You know what? When it's my phone, sure, it's my bad. But when I'm being interrupted by someone else's phone ringing? That is just the worst. I've completely lost my trail of thought. What was I talking about? Right. I might have been able to go to Fort Condor when she left the room, but before actually resting. That would have probably been smart. I'm pretty sure that timing would have worked. However, I didn't, so, you know, oh well. It's, that's 3,000 gil down the drain. Um, what you gonna do? Okay, that's good. Yeah, there. What is going on with that? I mean, this is like the little. This is Juon. You notice it's all dark here? That's because there's a town above here, which is like New Juon or something? I don't know. Um, but that's. that's a, It's basically structured the same way as Midgar. Um, because Shinra likes doing things like that. Um, yeah. So anyway. So anyway, now it's an amulet. Air quotes. It's a, it's a summon materia. Um. However, now that we've received it, it is. I'm pretty sure too late for the Fort Condor thing. Uh, fortunately, there's going to be another one quite imminently. Uh, and I mean, it's not really, the, it's hardly the end of the world. I mean, it's, the difference is really just 3,000 gil, which is sort of annoying for me because I don't have enough money, but in the grand scheme of things, quite a small amount. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's dangerous. Okay, so. Having said that about Fort Condor, I'm pretty sure if I go right now, there's going to be an yet another battle. A distinct one. We will have lost 3,000 gil in the Co Fort Condor fun, but we'll be able to fight another battle. Because there's like a whole bunch of them grouped really close together right now. Uh, oh. Okay, my... Seriously? You're- Don't do this to me, guys! Fuck. Okay, fine. If you're gonna be like this, you bastards. Whatever. I'm sure I'll get at least one of them. Hey, it's Barrett. Oh. You know what? I know what's about to happen here. Man, they were real dicks when they designed this. Here's the thing. Um. Oh yeah, we can do that. But, but, but here's the thing. You see this asshole standing behind us? He, he, he has stolen our cell phone. Uh, 
Okay, let's do it. I mean, we don't have a cell phone, so I guess we're not going to Fort fucking Condor. So, I actually read a really cool trick in the process of preparing for this. If you just jump once and twice, you'll land, without moving at all, you'll land on it every time. Which is pretty cool. So, so yeah, we have definitely missed at least one Fort Condor uh, battle now. Possibly two, but I'm not actually 100% sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. There's some radio noise in the background of this that I never noticed before. I can only hear it now because of my headphones. I couldn't quite make out what it was saying, but it was definitely there. Huh. Neat. Anyway, we want this thing. This... this thing. And now that we've learned how to use the elevator, Tune in next time! Because I've been going for like... Okay, I know this episode's probably pretty short because I've had so many bloody interruptions in it. But seriously, I've actually been going for... Getting close to half an hour now. So... I'm gonna stop. Until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Kiss Blue, and have a good day. Bye!